Hi friends, Right Careers welcomes you to another brand new video for this week. This is Yes Sudarshan, your career coach. Right, this week we are going to see a topic that is coming up the ranks and that's being a trend for quite some time, but it is still raw for many of us. We are going to see about a very, very happening topic, I should say, a concept rather than a topic. The concept is called homeschooling. Right, so in this video, we are going to see about what is homeschooling, why homeschooling, what are the legalities that are involved if you are a homeschooler, if you study from home, uh, if you school from home rather, and uh, how do you integrate with higher education, and then as always, the pros and cons of homeschooling. So let us straight away get on to the subject matter. So first of all, what is homeschooling? Now homeschooling is nothing but an alternative way to a child's learning. In, instead of going to school, a child learns from home. As the name itself suggests, that's, that's called homeschooling. So a child is educated at home instead of going to the school. It's an alternate to the traditional education system. Now parents may choose them to be the educator. That, that, that is parents themselves can be an educator or parents can hire an educator outside and then you know for particular subject or for few subjects and make them learn or educate at home right the learning usually in homeschooling is led by individual pace so there is no pressure or something like that it's led by the pace of the student and also the interest and ability of the student so this is precisely what homeschooling is all about moving on to the next leg why homeschooling so you might ask me this question why do you need homeschooling? There are various reasons that, you know, after a thorough research, we found that there are various research that involves as to why a parent prefers homeschooling these days. Even though there are various reasons, the most important reason, what we found out was, is the dissatisfaction level of the parents among today's education system. So the parents are not that happy with the current education scenario, current education system that's being prevailed in India. And therefore, they want an alternate to the current system and therefore they prefer homeschooling. That's one of the reason, but that's the main reason. Now, other reason uh, that, that definitely could or could be, you know, as a child might be a prodigy in sports, a natural athlete or naturally good at playing some of the games that include chess or or soccer or cricket or whatever it is. So they might, a parent might want the child to, you know, focus more on sports and make it big in sports and therefore, you know, not at, but having said that, not at the cost of education, right? Not at the cost of educating and things like that. So they might prefer doing homeschooling in, a, in and then, you know, focusing primarily on their sports or culture also, you know, it could be culture, sports or anything there are chances that, that that you know a child might be a special child or you know uh, you know maybe an autism or child or adhd child so those kind of parents you know always prefer their children to keep you know very close to themselves and maybe prefer homeschooling so these are some of the reasons as to why you prefer homeschooling just to reaffirm uh, not happy with the current education system a special child autism child or even a child that has special talents and wants to excel beyond uh, you know academics so these are some of the reasons as to why people choose homeschooling. Now the next leg, what are the legalities that gets involved in homeschooling? Now many people have this doubt whether homeschooling is valid in India, whether uh, it is accepted in India, whether it is you know accepted for higher education, accepted by ourselves you know and things like that. We will definitely see what are those. Now Right to Education Act, RTE, that was an act that was passed in the parliament in the year 2009. Uh, the RTE Act 2009 clearly says that any child that is there in the age group of 6 and 14, uh, if it is born in India, has the right to get educated in government or private schools, which means a child has the right to get educated. It is not saying it is compulsory. It has the right to get educated in any of the schools. Now, government has actually failed to clarify anything on homeschooling. To be honest with you, government has failed to clarify anything on homeschooling in 2009. But in 2012, based on a writ petition filed by a girl called Shreya from Gujarat, government came up with an affidavit. Now, the affidavit says the right to education does not come in the way of homeschooling. It says even if you learn from do through homeschooling, it will not say no to it. The objective of RTE is to make the child learn. So it, it indirectly says 
any form of education is I mean this this homeschooling is not illegal it didn't say it's legal but at the same time it it said it is not illegal categorically it says go ahead with homeschooling so that's a categorical answer so government is not going to interfere on the child as long as it's uh, it, it learns that's it. very very simple so homeschooling is very much valid that is the crux of this like uh, this 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 phase moving on what are the homeschooling methods now how do you do homeschooling and roughly how do you integrate with higher education this is very very important so you know to be honest with you cbsc and icsc today does not allow students who are doing homeschooling to appear for their board exams which means if you are a homeschooling student you cannot appear for cbsc and icsc exams in grade 10 11 12 and then what is left there are two options that are left the first option is cambridge so definitely cambridge uh, approves you know homeschooling students and it allows a student to appear for its igcsc exams in class grade 10 so a homeschooler student can very well you know register with cambridge international and then appear for igcsc uh, clear the igcsc exams and get the certificate from cie so that is definitely an option igcsc approves the second option which is also a popular option is in the form of nios NIOS is National Institute of Open Schooling. Now, National Institute of Open Schooling is a government, you know, body that uh, that is an official chapter like CBSC or ICSC. NIOS is a uh, is an affiliate body of, uh, you know, of course, ICSC is not government. Like CBSC, NIOS is a government affiliated body and it approves, it conducts exams for various levels, be it primary, uh, you know, middle school, higher secondary, secondary, it, it, it conducts exams for various level certificates are given so it is definitely aligned with the indian syllabus i should say so these are the two options where you can make them appear for board exam in case you want to in case you don't care about exams marks etc there's always unschooling you don't need to do that's the third option but yes the fact remains that most of the universities today do accept homeschooling students in their college or university even outside the country it's very very common so therefore you need not worry about the integration part to higher education so that's something which i have to clear as always in our video some of the pros and cons the advantages of homeschooling massive advantage parents can choose the method so like uh, you need not choose the syllabus but you can choose the method of teaching for example you can if you are a montessori educator if you are a very confident montessori uh, you know educator you can make sure that your child learns montessori way of method uh, you know during uh, his or her uh, tenure uh, definitely experiential learning is possible you can also choose waldorf method so these are some of the methods that are available the pedagogy we say so uh, you can choose your own pedagogy or way of te teaching there is definitely flexibility in learning for sure there is flexibility in learning uh, you can set up your own pace in terms of learning a child need not be pressurized to learn a child can learn at its own pace own you know capacity or things like that uh, definitely it provides personal attention to kids in a class of 30 32 or 40 you might not get that personal attention whereas this is here here out here it's one to one so that personal attention space is definitely there uh, and you have a lot of time to excel and focus on other activities as i told you if you're a sports avid sportsman or sportswoman you can focus that career and always parallelly do homeschooling so these are some of the advantages that i can think of some of the flip side uh, definitely is in the form of teaching first now not every parent is qualified to teach a child for sure because a parent can be good at one subject two subjects three subjects they might not be equipped to you know teach all the subjects for which they have to hire someone they have to then you know eventually i know some of the homeschooling students group with few students and then you know study some subjects so that's definitely happening so that's one of the flip side huge cost involved definitely if you have to invest you have to invest on books heavy on on academics and heavy on labs also imagine you know as a child you have to invest on labs of course you can get outsourced and things like that but the setting up of costs is very very high when you compare with a normal school the most important drawback i would say is on the assessment part now as a parent we are not we might not be doing justice to the assessment of any of the student uh, you know, assessment includes academics and non-academics like child behavior and things like that so that's a third flip side definitely social life for a student will, will be missed you might see very few friends or the social life of a kid is definitely uh, you know not there in homeschooling and that might lead to depression as well but there are you know options that have come a lot of groups and uh, whatsapp groups and things like that among homeschooling parents in a particular city where they meet and get to know each other and things like that all those things are happening but still the day-to-day -day social skills will be missed 
more importantly the real world experience of you know going to school and, and learning will be definitely missed so these are some of the flip side that i can think of Precisely to conclude, uh, though homeschooling seems to be a very, very viable option, uh, it is a very popular option also these days, think very, very hard before you take any decision, you know, focus more on the pros and cons of homeschooling and then take a decision because it is your child's decision and, is, and, and very, very fortunately, the child's career is in your hands today. So choose well, choose wisely. And, and take the right decision and in case you feel uh, you want to know more information about homeschooling do uh, be in touch with us so that we can help you out on on homeschooling and think more information on homeschooling and things like that and uh, thank you for watching this video and in case you have any feedback do write us and do subscribe to my youtube channel which is www.youtube.com slash right careers and also to my facebook page facebook.com slash right careers for you until next monday with a brand new video stay safe take care have a great week thank you Thank you.